has been going the tour so far? How's the finish course has been tricky? Um, it's been good. I mean, this will be the third show, so. Yeah. It's uh, fairly early into the tour. Mm -hmm. But it's been great. Okay. So let's talk about the latest album, Torture. So some say it's a mix of the last four albums, some say that some, well, as far as the drums are concerned, it's the return to butter at birth or two more for the mutilated. So what's your own opinion about that? I guess it's a fair, you know, uh, review of it. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't ever think about like comparing the records to any record to each other. Yeah. You know, every record's different. I mean, I'm sure it has elements of, you know, older albums. I mean, you know, the people that wrote those albums are writing this album. So, I mean, uh, you know, I mean, we're, we're happy with it. Uh, people seem to be happy with it. They know the songs, the shows. So, uh, you know, um, you know, it's been doing good, you know. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're, we're happy with it. So, I mean, uh, this bug's pissing me off, though. God damn it. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I, I think it's probably a, a good mix of, of you know, older elements and, you know, something new. We, we definitely don't want to make the same record over and over again, you know. Yeah. I, I know that some people can, you know, they, 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 they you know, they say that that's what we're doing, but, you know, I don't, we, we don't worry about what other people, we don't worry about the negative uh, comments, you know, we just try to keep it positive and, you know, I think it's one of our best albums. Yeah. Uh, to me, we can definitely hear something different or new, like, okay, we still have the same death metal guitar riffs, yeah. but they're slightly <coughs> more melodic. Uh, to me, there are also some leads, like on the song Dawn Through, and um, yeah, the song structures are a bit more diverse, and you increase the pace that you change the rhythm, to me. Yeah, I mean, you know, well, you know, look, we, we just... Like I said, we don't want to make the same record over and over, mm -hmm. and I don't think we have, you know. I mean, we don't want to, you know, go away from the style that we, you know, from death metal. We're not yeah. going to you know, we're not gonna try to be a speed metal band or, you know, a heavy yeah. metal band. I mean, we're a death metal band, and, and, you know, the style that we've been playing is the style that we're comfortable with, it's what we like. And as long as the, uh, <clears throat> as long as the songs are, are not just a rehash of, you know, a previous song. I, I think we're, we're doing what we, you know, what we set out to do. That's what good, you know, the demos. Yeah, that's fair. So, um, yeah, you're celebrating your 25 years um, uh, this year. So, yeah, of course, um, your albums are slightly different, but, okay, Cannibal Corpse has always been faithful to his music, like death metal, uh, always like the same themes and, are the same uh, artwork, like you've been working with Vince and Locke for many mm -hmm. years. Uh, so do you think it's also uh, the reason why Cannibal Corp is still alive and that you haven't lost your fans? Well, yeah, I mean, we've stuck, we, I mean, I think the band's developed over, you know, from, from say, even back to life to now, you know, I think musician-wise, it's a lot, it's, it's advanced a lot, you know, I mean, you know, and not to say that that album's bad or nothing like that, it's just, <clears throat> Obviously, you know, everyone's gotten better. I mean, and of course there's a change at, you know, a couple of, uh, you know, positions, you know. Mm. You know, me and, and Pat came in the band for gallery, you know. Uh, but, um, you know, look, we're, like I said before, we're not, you know, out to, uh, you know, to change the, the metal world. I mean, yeah. I think we've had a big impact on it already, you know, yeah. so. So, and we're just going to continue to do, you know, and write the songs we like. I mean, it's really that simple. And, and trust me, a big reason why we're here as well is, is, our, is, is, is the fan base. Because, you know, obviously, mm -hmm. you can make all the albums you want. And you can do all the tours you want. If people don't buy your records or come to your, your shows, then you're not going anywhere. Yeah, okay. And I think we have a good rapport with the fans. And, and you know, we always have, you know, because we're just people in a band, you know, we're not, we don't look at ourselves as like, you know, anything more than that. So it's, it's, we're real, we're very approachable. People, you know, come up to us and, you know, want to talk to us. We're not, you know, standoffish or no, 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 yeah. no pictures, none of this. No, you know, we're happy. I'm, I'm happy, you know, personally that it's somebody actually cares, you know what I mean, <laughs> about the band and, 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 and whatnot. So, you know, we're here because I know we do a lot of touring and we're, we're, we're pretty oh, consistent. Shut up. We're pretty good.
anyway, uh, we're consistent with that. So, uh, and like I said, we have a good, you know, uh, rapport with the kids. I mean, it's it's you know, it's a mixture of a lot of things. There's a little bit of luck, and there's a lot of things involved in, in when a, when a band can uh, or when a, when, a, when a band becomes, you know, successful. And um, you know, I mean, we have a good label behind us as well. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of things behind it. You know, but we, we bust our ass on tour a lot. You know, I mean, that's one. I really believe that's one of the big things is we're all we're out a lot. You know, what I mean, yeah. supporting every record. So if you miss this one time, you're pretty sure, you know, we're going to be back. It's a good bet we'll be back, if not right in the city, in your city, a few hours away. Yeah, I think it's a good thing that you're aware that you've been nothing without the fans, sure. but you know, it's also thanks to you because I think that uh, people who are fans of Death Mill, whenever a new Cannibal Corp album comes out, they expect each time to be the best Death Metal album, and I think they are not so disappointed. So. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I, I mean, yeah, you have to, of course, stick to that style, death metal, but each time you try to surprise yourself to make the best of the kind, and yeah. I think that's also great. We, uh, we, we do our best, you know. yeah. we just, like I said, we just try to make the you know, best album, you know, that we can, and, you know, uh, writing stuff that we want to hear, so. Yeah. Right, so although yeah. you have not been part of the band since the very beginning, can still answer the question. Uh, are you satisfied with the way the band has evolved since the beginning? Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I mean, obviously, <coughs> excuse me. If you listen, you know, to the first album, to Torture, I mean, there's there's a big difference. You know, things have changed as well as you know as, as how you record albums. You know, that's that's part of it too. But uh, I think we've all improved. You know, in our particular, you know, uh, instrument or you know, voice, my voice, I guess. I mean. Uh, but, um, you know, yeah, and it doesn't matter if I was there in the beginning because I, I listened to the band from the beginning. Yeah. So, you know, I, I was listening to them when they first came out. And, you know, I went to shows. I seen those guys with Chris, you mm. know what I mean? So, you know, and the band's evolved. And, and you know, I think we'll continue to evolve but still keep it, you know, what it really is at heart. It's, it's a death metal band. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be, uh, you know, anything other than just, you know, extreme fucking death metal. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, people ask me, people that maybe not, won't understand, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you play heavy metal, you know, that's what they instantly say. So, no, we play death metal. Yeah. Well, what's that? You know, is that like this? You know, I, I don't shy away from that. I don't, we don't shy away from that. We're a death metal band. If you don't understand what it is, I'm sure, we'll, we'll do our best to explain it to you. And if you still can't understand it, then maybe that's a sign that you don't need to be listening to it. Or just go to listen. Or just listen to it, and then you'll know, you know. But, you know and there's, you know, that's, that's the best way. We're, we're not trying to... Like I said, uh, do anything different in you know in, in any field other than, than death metal because we're a death metal band. I mean, that's you know, what we love. What's what we listen yeah. to. And, you know. yeah. Why would you change the recipe? I mean, it works. Yeah. This is what it's you really, like. So yeah. yeah. I mean, like I said, we're just we write the songs that we <clears throat> want to hear, yeah, and that's so. pretty much it. You know, and, and so it's you know it's we don't make right riffs and say that's a shitty riff. Let's keep it. I mean, you know, you yeah. don't, you don't do that. So. You keep the good riffs, you throw away the shitty ones. Hmm. Okay, so did you still remember that time in 1995 when you joined the band? Mm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so when you think bad about it... I think, God damn, it's been a long time. <laughs> it's yeah, it, it has. I mean, it, it's been almost 19 years, I think, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I, I still remember when Alex called me. You know, I still remember, you know, going down the studio. I remember, you know, getting to the airport. Jack picked me up. You know, yeah. I mean, I, I remember it all. You know, it was a big part, a big, you know, big time in my life. Probably one of the biggest. You know what I mean? And uh, I mean, you know, I still remember. You know, like I, I, you know, matter of fact, before we went on this tour, I was at home and my uh, my parents, you know, were, were visiting. And uh, I was telling my mom, I was like, you remember when, when you know, when I told you about the you know, phone call I got from Alex? She, she was like, yeah, I remember that. You were jumping up and down all over the house and going crazy. Yeah, yeah I remember totally. It's, it uh, obviously changed my life, you know. Yeah. Can and it changed the band's life, you know. It changed, yeah. you know, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. All right, so to celebrate uh, these 25 years, you're going to release the special box uh, on March 16, I remember right. So it's called This Human Connection, 25 years of death metal. So we've got all, this includes all the discography of the bands, plus some extra stuff like a calendar. And 
but the price is pretty reasonable for all what you get. So was that done on purpose? Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, it's it's a uh, hard, there are hard times out there now. You know, not yeah, so, a lot of money. So I mean, you know, we didn't want to make it, you know, you know, an astronomical amount of money. We want to make it affordable for everybody. So, mm -hmm. and I think for what's what's going to be in it, it's definitely a good damn deal. Yeah, you know, yeah. So, and yeah, we definitely that was, you know, on purpose. We're not out to, you know, rob. You know, we're not out to uh, commit highway robbery. You know? I mean, we're we know that every, not everybody, you know, has a ton of money. There's some people who do, and they would pay whatever we charge for. But you know, I think for what it's going to be going for, is a good deal, and, and definitely yeah. was. You know, there was conscious effort, you know, to uh, to do that because you know we don't want to. Like I said, sure we need to make money. We have you know, families and whatnot, you know. But, yeah, it's your but job. We, uh, yeah. You know, we don't need to. You know. Like overpriced. Thing. Yeah, yeah, just to you know rake in the dough. Yeah. I think it's a good thing that you also aware that not everyone can afford CD anymore. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean it's, it's it's hard times now. You know, people are uh, you know struggling for with other things. Mm -hmm. Take that, yeah, kill that motherfucker. I think, yeah, I know that I'm so tough. I killed a little man. Uh, let's see, but I think you killed it. <laughs> yeah. So still, so now, yeah, city stairs are decreasing, but the thing is that with Cannibal Corpse, it's not. Like with evisecration plague and torture, you sell uh, 9,600 copies in the US uh, during the three, three third weeks. Uh, so what do you think is the reason behind that? Well, I mean, you know, if an album has, a, you know, being as I put out an album in a couple of years, people are, you know, anticipating it. And, you know, our label does a good job of, you know, letting people know that, hey, this album's coming out. So, you know, there's, there's no, uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of hype behind it. <clears throat> From that, you know, people are, are talking about it. They're anticipating it. And, you know, they, fortunately for us, you know, went out and, and bought it right when it came out, you know. So, I mean, you know, the, I, I would do the same thing when I was younger. You know, if I knew an album, when an album was coming out, I was right there to get it as soon as it was out. So, you know, I mean, you know, like I said before, we have a very loyal fan base, you know. Yeah. And, and they've been behind us through member changes and just a lot of things. And uh, as long as, and I think we haven't, we don't disappoint them with, with, uh, with records. You know, mm -hmm. with, yeah. we yeah. put on, on a record, um, they're going to be there with us. Mm -hmm. I mean, really, it, it is kind of, when I mean, you think about it, remarkable because, you know, there are a lot of trends that come and go and people, you know, sometimes gravitate towards those and, and in our case, we, we still have, I think, our old fan base, mostly, and, you know, they're, those guys are bringing in, you know, newer people and, and just because we do a lot of touring and we've done some tours with some bands that have brought new fans that have never seen us, you know, that's helped us as well, so yeah. we've been uh, really fortunate, you know, okay. in that aspect and, you know, we just have kept our old fan base and brought in new people and, you know, acquired new fans and, you know, there's a lot of factors behind that, but, you know, touring, like I said before, is mm -hmm. one of the big ones. We're all, we're, we're out a lot, you know. Yeah. Uh, personally, I think the reason might be the artwork, because people are really excited to find out this great yeah. artwork. I mean, now uh, fans want the music, but they still want to have something to look at. Sure. And with Cannibal Corpse, it's definitely this. You get something, like, you know, all those pictures. So I it's think that's also the reason. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Uh, Vince comes up with you yeah. know, awesome, uh, <coughs> excuse me, awesome art. And, um, you know, that it's, it's kind of synonymous with us, you know what I mean? I mean, for, of course we want people to know the band for the music, but the art is, is still a big part of it. You, you look at Iron Maiden and, and their covers, you know, they were, you always, you were looking forward to seeing what their new album cover was because it was yeah. always something killer, you know. Yeah, so I think that might also explain. Um, 